Hello, I'm welcome to my band to a Call of Duty World. There's a joke. No, oh, that's it. I'm sorry, that just wasn't working, working out. I am Richie Chrysopolis, the Red Ranger, also known as Jersey Kids of our wrestling fans out there. And welcome to Comics of the Week. came out this week that I believe are very underrated. Now, today uh, we're going to cover two comic books. Alright, first one's going to be The Unbelievable Gwenpool's really freaking cool. And actually, hell, the first one is going to be Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme. Now, this is a really cool freaking book for those of you who don't know. Alright, let's get into a little bit here. Alright, here. In every age, there is one person who possesses greater magical skill and power than any other be being. This person is the Sorcerer Supreme, and they are this dimension's protector against any mystical mayhem that threatens it. Alright, so previously, Merlin, the Sorcerer Supreme of the Middle Ages, traveled through time to recruit Sorcerer Supreme from various eras, including Doctor Strange, uh, com wait, to combat a powerful foe called the Forgotten. One of the sorcerers, um, Sir Isaac Newton, defeated the beast, freeing the sorcerers trapped within, including the conjurer's brother, um, Jayo. The sorcerers didn't expect Newton to betray them and cast them into a terrifying trap. Now, the reason why I'm doing this comic book, um, well, we all know Marvel just uh, recruited R.L. Stein for Man-Thing. I'm thinking they went to R.L. Stein about this, because check this out. Warning. There's a warning label. This is no ordinary comic book. Your life and the lives of the Sorcerer Supremes are at risk, and it's up to you to save them. Each page bears a choice, and every page turn can have serious repercussions. So... Proceed with caution and care. Choose wisely. All right, and they're not—they're not, they're not freaking kidding. They're not kidding. Let me tell you. Um, yeah, you know, this book starts off with uh, Doctor Strange um, being—you uh, know—he was betrayed by by Newton, by Newton, by Isaac Newton, which is freaking awesome. They're using people like Merlin and Isaac Newton. Apparently, um, Merlin died and put Doctor Strange in charge. Um, Alright, now I guess we're, now this gets really cool because it's not just Doctor Strange, it's the Sorcerer Supremes uh, all throughout the time because they're going to be one per time period on Earth, right? So we have um, the Demon Rider, um, we have the Conjurer, we have Wiccan, who is the Scarlet Witch's son, which is pretty cool, and we have the ancient one, which in this one he's like a young teenager with long hair and shit. He's like a cocky little brat. <laughs> it's just funny because he's the fucking ancient one. They're like, damn, how the hell does this guy live for so long to become the ancient one? He's such a dick. But now what's really cool about this is, um, yeah, as you can see, it it asks you where you want to go next, which I haven't seen since a freaking Goosebumps book. You know, there used to be those Goosebumps books. Where you had the options to go through all different, jump around different pages. Now it literally it continues to do that, like throughout this whole book. Which is the better side. It continues to do that, so it's really cool. You know, to save the ancient one, turn to page 10, panel 1. To save Wiccan, turn to page 8, panel 3. To save the Conjurer, turn to page 9, panel 1. Well, eventually, once you get to page 17. Doctor Strange, oh yeah, and the whole time Doctor Strange has been using these little keys. Alright, so the bones of Etu, um, 
they're like redo, you know, and he takes out these bones, everything, he'll go try to, he'll try to save the ancient one, and him and the ancient one will go see someone else, and then they'll both die, Doctor Strange will pull out the keys, boom, back, jump back to page one, <laughs> try again, and you keep trying again, you try to save all four of them until you realize that, you know, it's not working out, they can't be saved, so, pretty much, now, <laughs> it gives you an option of, to say the Sorcerer Supreme, so you're back in page one uh, again, thanks Nicole, um, to say Doctor Strange, turn to page 18, right? Now from this point out, after page 18, it rightfully so turns back into a comic book. Alright, he pretty much goes around and saves everybody, alright? So they get out of Isaac Newton's trap, they travel to through time one more time to see what the hell Isaac Newton is doing. And as you can see, he is fucking up the Avengers. And this is uh, the Avengers with Spider-Man, um, Jane Foster as Thor, the Vision, Hercules, and Sam Wilson as Captain America. Oh, and also uh, Wasps. Well, wasps are one thing. Damn. <laughs> it's Doctor Strange. I'm sure those wasps are like, eh. <laughs> and there's Isaac Newton being a straight-up evil motherfucking bastard. <laughs> like, come on. And then next week issue should be really cool too. At least it, it looks like a really cool cover. Alright, so that's pretty much what's going on there with Doctor Strange and Rings Fort, um, Sorcerer Supreme. Alright, now check this shit out here. The Unbelievable Gwenpool issue 13. Alright, this is really cool. Now let, let's, uh, let's, let's read the... Yeah, let, let's read the... Let's, let's read the little prologue thing. Alright. Okay, Unbelievable Gwenpool. The true believers let your girl Gwenpool level with you. Even I get lonely. Causing mayhem and saving the world just wasn't the same without my merry band of Modoc misfits. Which is why I wasn't phased when we were all doped up and dropped into Fantasyland together. Think giant fire breathing lizards and basement jails and castles. You know, Dragons and dungeon, dungeons, uh, etc. Of course, all that stuff isn't real, but you know what it is? Mr. Murder World himself, Arcade, who designed this game with mercs in mind and has been trapping them inside for years. The only way out is through. is through. And my crew isn't going to let anything stop us. Even like the worst cameo appearance of all time. Now who is she referring to? None other than Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool. Now this gets, this is really funny. <laughs> Just because um, uh, they got like Bob from Hydra in there for some reason. Uh, okay, yeah, these are, yeah, like, Bob from Hydra. Um, right, they're like, if you hurt him, he doesn't last. If he speaks, he drives you crazy. And then Bob's like, man, it's just Deadpool. Stop mm -hmm. mythology. <laughs> Quit mm -hmm. mythology. Jesus, I can't pronounce this word. Okay, Deadpool will still totally kill us, though. So, like, they have, like, a little fire, and they decide to put out the fire to try to stop. You know, like, yeah, maybe let's put out the fire. You know, try to stop Deadpool from finding them. Um, it doesn't work. He totally finds them, and then he talks like a bunch of shit. <laughs> He's like, Patrick, I didn't know you were so passionate about fire safety. I'd have worn my Smokey the Bear outfit. The only, the one I wear to only after hours and through no rope kind of events. <laughs> all right, anyway. Yeah, he's all fucking with bat trick. Everybody's all scared of Deadpool. Well, one person who's not scared of Deadpool is Gwenpool herself. Straight up takes a sword and, like, chops through Deadpool. Right? So, now she's like, oh, for God's sake, you talk too much. Your word balloons are probably covering all the artwork. <laughs> he's like, well, word balloons. So, uh, yeah, you know. Gwen Cool starts playing the fourth wall. You know, she's someone who used to read comic books and then eventually one day found herself in a comic book and so it's like, hey, I read about you. So it's pretty cute. Um, 
Yeah, so pretty much they all start trying to fight Deadpool. It's totally not working out. He's kicking their asses because he's freaking Deadpool. And then Gwenpool's like, oh, wait, I see this on my mind. Um, you know, she, like, comes up with, like, a little plan real quick for uh, her and her team. Um, her team consists of uh, Bat Trick, Megatoni, who I guess is just, like, a comic book fan, but since he's in this, like, alternate reality world, he's, like, a mage. A ma mage. Um, so he has, like, powers to heal and all that type of stuff. And Terrible Eye, which is like this four-eyed freaking witch-looking thingy lady, I believe. So it's pretty cool to see all them going out to Deadpool with um with uh, Gwenpool's um, decision making. Oh, okay. Here's a little funny quote that he says. Uh, ah, and we are officially done pretending we're in medieval fantasy land. I snuck in guns. <laughs> well. The four of them still manage to take them down. Yeah, that was like, uh, you think I haven't I haven't fought teams before? There's a graveyard with there's a graveyard in Queens filled with the bad dudes who have worked together to take me on. Gwenpool was like, hmm, that's true. I guess it's because you're a guest star in my book. That was like, you're, you're a book. Oh, I see now. And oh yeah, shit goes down. We're in your book, A Fellow Fourth Wall Breaker. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> and Deadpool starts fucking people up, completely changes their whole reality, beats the shit out of Gwenpool, like punching her in the face. Yeah, we got this big ass muscular Deadpool just straight up beating the punching the crap out of Gwenpool, that little teenage girl, to where if you don't know who Gwen is, you might even think Gwen, uh, Gwen Stacy from Spider-Man, maybe, well, no, it's not. Um, all right, and then ends up, uh, Deadpool's putting a knife to her throat, which is pretty crazy. So, uh, he gives her her last words, you know, she ends up talking her way out of it. They go after Arcade, the guy who's pretty much doing all this, and, yeah, you know, Kick his ass. Now the next issue does look pretty cool. It has Hawkeye, Hawk girl, no, not Hawk girl. Hawkeye, not the female Hawkeye, Hawkeye, which you know she is a girl. Hawkeye's a girl, well the good Hawkeye at least, and Ghost Rider, and that'll be in the Gwenpool next issue that will be coming out April 12th, 2017, and that's gonna be really cool. And all right, thank you guys for tuning in with me. Y'all have a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed the Gwenpool and enjoyed the Doctor Strange.